You got so much stuff. Yeah, it's too much, I would think. But anyway, yeah, you are welcome to have a look. Oui. Stones. Rocks. I mean rocks. Valentin Troll. Hi, I'm Val, or Valentin, uh, my full name, and my surname is Troll, like the big hairy beast, yeah. and I work on volcanoes, and I have been working on volcanoes for some 20 years or so. Oh, that's so a long time. It is a long time. Nice. Maybe I should retire soon, but uh, no, I'm, I still have another 20 years to go, so I cannot retire right no, now. No, you cannot, and we have an interview to do. So you. That's can. right, that's right. Your field is called petrology? Correct. What is that? The science of rocks. So it's rockology, if you will. Mm. And um, this is what I study. I study how rocks are formed, what rocks are made of, what we can do with rocks. Is there any dangers by working with rocks? Can rocks actually um, cause problems, accidents, disasters? All of these things are related to the field of petrology, the science of rocks. But in your work, do you like go out to volcanoes and visit them, or or do you get stones to your office and look at them? Or it's a bit of everything. In in, in fact, you're right. Um, I sometimes go out to volcanoes. Um, sometimes when there is a volcano erupting, then uh, it's very exciting. We go there and we sample lava, for example, and then we come back and work with this. Sometimes, however, it's also um, looking at things like mines. Mm -hmm. I've been to Kiruna, for example, which um, is a big iron ore mine, but it used to be a volcano. Oh. So, and there I was also sampling. There's a lot of, of rocks here. Yes, I brought a lot of rocks for you. Should today. I send, send you one here? Any? You can choose the, your favorite, absolutely. Ah. Ooh. You can almost not stop looking at this one. So, this is an obsidian. This yeah. is an obsidian from southeast Iceland. And uh, it's a glass, effectively. It's a volcanic glass. So it almost looks like well, shells or so. This is yeah. typical for the glass. This is how it breaks. Um, this would be a very calm lava. It would flow very calmly in okay. case of an eruption. So you could actually stand there, take pictures, and uh, you could, in theory, walk away from it. What can this tell you? For example, we can measure the composition of it. So mm. we know whether the volcano is what we call mafic, meaning has a lot of iron and magnesium, then it's often more harmless. Ah. Or it would have high silica. And the more silica we have, mm. the more dangerous the eruptions get. Another interesting thing is there's no gas bubbles in there. No. Meaning most of the gas has already gone. And to make big eruptions, mm. explosive eruptions, you need a lot of gas. Yeah. This is not what we see here. This was calm. Can I ask you to pick one of the other rocks there, yeah. maybe? This one is gorgeous, yes. Uh, talking to rocks is tricky because you need to understand their language. They will not just blurt things out. You have to ask questions. Mm -hmm. So here, I can look at this rock and I have to ask questions like, what is these dark areas there? Yeah. Why are they of different size? What is the white colored areas here? Why are they not in the dark areas? They are separated. And what mm. this rock tells me is that the volcano from which this rock comes has experienced a new injection of magma. Mm -hmm. This is fresh magma coming from the deep in the earth. And there was magma already in the volcano. Oh. And the two are starting to mix now. When you see this, this can be very dangerous. You probably heard about the Eyjafjallajökull Jökull eruption in 2010, only a few years ago yeah. on Iceland. That's what happened there. Oh. There was magma inside the volcano. And it was sitting there happily, calm, mm -hmm. but then fresh magma came in. Yeah. And then it was all waking up again. And this led to the big explosion that caused all the airports to shut down and all the ash to circle around mm -hmm. and things like that. So this is the story this rock has just told me. Yeah. Valentin, mm -hmm. thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. I enjoyed this. I love to talk about and with and uh, two rocks. So and to you as well, Kelly. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Bye.